I will sip it out of Thomas Craig and it's D-Boss here at this Chigs Viz title. Kodak Black threatens violence on Dragoon Top 5 Impressa for pulling up on Lil Tyler in Toronto. Okay, there's some drama involving Drake's goons and uh, Kodak and Lil Tyler. Apparently, they're upset with just American rappers in general <laughs> after Drake lost this beef and they want revenge on whoever they can get revenge on. Um, or maybe there's something deeper with their beef with Kodak. I don't know. But it's just it's just odd that they, they beef him with these American rappers all of a sudden. But let's see what's happening. Let's watch. Hey, man, you guys wanted Kodak's attention. Now you got it. Now, it was only a couple days ago when Top 5 and Presser went to Lil Tyler's show in Toronto to basically press him. Now, luckily enough, Why? Lil Tyler was not there. His the security problem? guards went to the show early, saw shit was looking kind of funny, and told them not to pull up. Now, this was all because Lil Tyler is affiliated with Kodak Tyler. Black. So this young. was their way of basically telling Kodak Black, Black, hey, listen, bro, if we can't get to you, we're going to get to your mans. What's the Lil Tyler show? Oh, yo, bro, I told you. Okay, look, this kid never came into the venue once. Like, I think he, his security maybe, like, came through the back door. I seen, like, two guys come through the back door. They checked it out. They talked to some other security, and then they left. They never... No, he never once came inside the venue once. I never seen him. I never seen his manager. He's eighteen. He he's born in two thousand six. Lit, you know what? Thank you, shit. Bro, he was scared for you. Oh, you're so tough. You're bullying an, an eighteen year old. You're bullying a teenager. Oh, y'all are so hard. This is what how y'all doing in the six. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Uh, an eighteen year old, and and according to what he just said, y'all real beef is actually with Kodak. So why are you coming at the the? Like I swear to God, like they were, they were talking about you. They were like, "Oh, five tried to come out in from outside." But yo, you gotta remember, this guy's manager is Kodak Black's manager, so they already know about that. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. Now, if you guys did not watch that video, please make sure you guys go check it out here. Now, everybody in the comments pretty much agreed that was a sucker move. Lil Tyler does not act tough. He does not present himself as a gangster. There's so many other rappers that are yeah. friends with Kodak Black. You can actually press that are actually about that life. Last night, Kodak Black jumped on Instagram Live to respond to Preston and Top 5. He told them Lil Tyler has nothing to do with any of the street stuff they got going on. And he also let him know exactly what would happen if Kodak actually saw them in person again. Here's what he said. I ain't gonna say, bro, when we on that, I ain't gonna say, bro, kid, I ain't gonna say all that. Cause, like, all of us will be men, I believe, like, no, he's Every man should have something in them, like some type of, like, you know, tie up, like, man, in them. At 18? Some kind of way, in some sort. But it's like. And he ain't even got nothing to do with this. What you mean he should have some target hit by? Bro, I don't got nothing to do with shit. And, and yeah, bro, I don't got nothing to do with shit. And he don't give that vibe off. But it's like, homie, like, take no check, you know, it's easy. Yeah. It's a mess. I don't give that vibe off, so. I don't respect it, man. I don't know. I just, I, I, I just, I don't respect that shit. Cause these fuck niggas been, been, been. These fuck niggas been like, they been like, they been like, um, yeah, reaching for too long, homie. And like every little shit, I'm like, bitch, I'm at my fashion show. You niggas pussy as fuck. Come at my fashion shows, bitch. You can't look in the crowd. Trust me, if I would've knew you niggas in the crowd, homie, I would've did the same shit I did to all you niggas when I saw y'all. I'll punch you up. Oh. And this nigga who just got a job would punch you up too. Ain't no difference, homie. That's why you niggas had to shoot. You feel me? Because it's like, I ain't, I ain't tripping. You would've did your bit one. Cool. Let's do it, homie. Wait, so they came to his fashion show and they tried to press? Well, apparently they didn't press him at the fashion show. He's saying he didn't even know y'all was there. <laughs> but why y'all didn't... If that's the case, if y'all went to his fashion show, why not do whatever you gotta do to him there? Why go to the fashion show, see him, don't do nothing, but then go impress his artist or whoever he's affiliated. I don't know if this is his artist. I don't know what the affiliation is or that, if that's just his friend. Why go press the 18-year-old <laughs> when you were were at the fashion show where Kodak was. I don't understand. Well, fresh out on people, so I was kind of like moving in certain places where I know five sometimes. Where I was like, I ain't tripping because it really wasn't, it wasn't even no smoke. Why are you moving to Anyway, I'm saying it be like, you know, shit. 
that ain't no shit. Like, okay, bro, I just saw you niggas and got you, you know, got the nigga smack. Yo, just one of them crazy. It's like, oh, yeah, I see you niggas punch you up, punch you up, homie. Like, dude, bitch, me and my homeboy, the two of us, we beat up four of y'all, homie. Oh. <laughs> the fuck, but we like, you fuck niggas, like, that's gay and shit. It was two niggas, like, two me and one of the dog. I mean, we beat four of you niggas up, period. Uh-huh. Why? Everything, everything a nigga touch your fall. Like fucking what like glass and shit. Like glass. That shit you touch that shit. Touch that chin. Tap that chin. That shit shallow. Nigga tap that chin and break it. Nigga tap that shit and shallow. <laughs> That's it. I mean, period. Period. Like, oh, I was down with it. I'm doing this shit, baby. Face side boy. I mean, nigga ordering me. You got a damn chin. You ain't got no damn. You ain't got no damn. Come on, man. Tighten down my way. Please. Right, he's like, yeah. yeah, man. This shit, bro. That shit, yeah, it's hell. I mean, I like the tall of these women, man. That's crazy shit. This camera. So, like, all right, niggas want juice, bro. All right, I'm gonna get a little juice, man. I ain't even gonna do this, but I'm gonna need feel. Feel it's great like that. Like, bro, I had to turn around from this show, and niggas in the crowd, like, Oh, oh, brain came to the show. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that shit ain't nothing to do with him. Like, oh, man, I ain't no way you gonna make, bro, a little pussy. Oh, uh, no, that shit. And I just see her don't say shit. Now, after seeing Kodak Black basically yeah, threaten violence against them, Top 5 and Presser took to Instagram to respond back to Kodak. Here's what they said. I pulled that pic real quick, cuz. The man, yo, the man, yo, the man's moving like he would have punched. The man likes to box it. He, he, he likes to box that. Huh? Oh, that pig likes yeah, the box, yeah, 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 I think the man seen the two Richard Millies and the I woke up seen two Richard Millies. My word, yo, bro, I just came out of jail. jail. I just came out of jail. Two weeks ago, I'm Richard and Kodak. He's depressed, meth baby. He's a meth baby. He's a meth baby. baby. Richard. You're Richard, You're Richard and Kodak? I'm Richard and him. And he got fucked up and he never wrote. Man, go, 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 tag, go, tell him to go tag Kodak pig real quick. Bro. Where's Kodak pig? You want to speak the man that's like... Yo, go tell them to go tag all that pink real quick. What is all that pink? You want to speak the man's name like the man or some bitches? And you po posting some death ass bitches that the man have done right through. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's a bad day in this industry. I don't fully understand. <laughs> And it's somebody because I mean Kodak. I'm, I'm sure some people don't really understand him, you know, the best as well. But I, I understand everything Kodak said. Um, some people from the south I don't understand them that well, but I I understand I understand him. Um, some accents I can understand better than others, but this accent. <laughs> It's like a Toronto and a Jamaican accent mixed together. It's, it's a little fuzzy at times. I don't know all the words. Come on, man. Get hit up and don't do shit. Get hit up and don't do shit. No, shit, you ain't do shit. You're lucky I wasn't there. I would have left your bitch ass. What are you smoking over there? I wish you could put cold back in your blood. Job not successful. <laughs> he said he'd be not a foyer, so he that's did not shit. And did shit to Kodak. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do shit. Niggas do shit. You, you, you know what's up? Just be calling niggas' name for no reason, dog. You know what's up, Kodak? Uh, and I look a, a hooker you with. They look a oh. hooker thing you with. I was on the run for first degree murder, bending that in a mansion. Running yeah. around my mansion. She was running around the mansion naked. Long live Draco the ruler. One. Man, whatever happened to keeping what? it off the nets and keeping it in the streets? If you know that you've done something incriminating or you're about to do something that's going to incriminate yourself, it's probably best to stay off Instagram live. The small little clout and attention that comes from this is not worth what the end result is going to be. Now, nobody is saying that you gotta be scared of Kodak Black, but keep in mind, Kodak does not ever have to step foot into Toronto to make it as an artist. But Presser and Top 5, you guys both have to come to the States. Is all this beefing and threatening each other really worth being paranoid over? And somebody gotta go find Drake. Where's Drizzy Drake while all this is going on? You're basically sitting back and watching your mans that you paid for his lawyers to get him out of prison oh. go crazy. You could possibly be implicated in some shit if things go left, Drake. I hope you know that. You guys get in the comments below. Ooh, T. So Drake paid for this lawyer to get him out? He will be saying top five, top five. He's talking about this nigga? I thought he was saying he top five. <laughs> and, and like, you know, top five rappers. He talking about this, this, his shooter? This his shooter? Top five. 
other thought he was talking about he top five in the industry. Okay, I guess I wasn't paying attention close enough attention, but he talking about him. He mentioned him a lot. I've heard Drake say top five many times. This is ghetto, the ghetto. Uh, but yeah, I think it was really lame for them to pull up on Lil Tyler's show and, and try to, you know, threaten him or beat him up or whatever they were trying to do just to get at Kodak. That doesn't make any sense. You want to go up after the 18-year-old when you were at Kodak's fashion show, according to Kodak. Why was he at a fashion show? Do you have fashions? Or he was just there chilling. Maybe they were just like across from him or nearby him. And they all were, yeah, at the fashion show. I guess that makes more sense. Um, but yeah, y'all didn't do nothing to him then. But then y'all want to go and find Lil Tyler? It's just lame. Very lame. Uh, but yeah, maybe Drake has no association with this at all. But I think he should step in because he's a rapper. So <laughs> Kodak is his peer and he is closely associated with Top 5. So I think he should kind of get in between and be like, hey, chill out. I think that's kind of his, his duty. Because how else does Top 5 even know Kodak or has any affiliation with him? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.